So hey guys, what's up? So welcome to World News 20 new channel. So let's talk about virus curve starting to work, says China. The number of new coronavirus cases in China fell on Sunday, and the health of Wuhan said intense efforts to stop its spread were beginning to work as another 70 people tested positive on a virus-stricken cruise ship quarantined in Japan. China's latest figures showed 68,500 cases of the illness and 1665 deaths, most of them in Hubei. The National Health Commission reported 2,009 new cases on Sunday, down from 2,641 the previous day and 142 new deaths, just one lower than the 143 on the previous day. All but four of the new deaths were in Hubei. The province and its capital, one have been virtually sealed off in lockdown since January 23, with schools, offices and factories shut and most travel suspended. The virus is believed to have an aggravation period of 14 days, which will appear on the gale it has been spying since the lockdown was imposed. But Health Commission spokesman May Feng said the campaign was beginning to show results. The effect of the coronavirus controls is appearing. Am I told reporters increased media support and preventive measures in Hubei had had it off more critical cases and the proportion of the critical cases among confirmed cases had fallen to 21.6% on Saturday from 32.4% on January 27, my sir. U.S. officials in Hazmat shows the body the cruise liner Diamond Princess on Sunday to fly home American squad nine for two weeks of Japan after being held on the board ship since Feb 3rd. American passengers were told to get ready for the Sunday evening charter flights home from the cruise liner, which accounts for around half of all confirmed coronavirus cases outside China. Canadian, Thailand, South Korean, and Hong Kong passengers were expected to follow after their governments also announced plans to repatriate passengers. 70 new cases were confirmed on board the ship, bringing the total on the ship to the 355. Meanwhile, Taiwan reported its first fatality on Sunday. The first fatal in Europe was reported on Saturday, an 80-year-old Chinese man who died at a parish hospital. So if you like the channel, so kindly subscribe to it.